Hello and welcome back. This is another free game on Steam. It's called Angel Wings. Let's check out how this free game actually is and so you don't have to. Let's get to it. It's a free game. Start. <laughs> Yay, free Steam games. Add new contact. Yeah. Ooh, your name's Hell yeah, funky. <laughs> Babe. Douchebaggio? Okay. <laughs> well, should my name be? I mean, I thought you were going to write down douchebaggins, but... Okay. Douchebaggins. Lord. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Phone number? Oh, do I get to switch it? I don't think so. What? I want to switch my phone number to, like, 420-6969. Nope, nope, kids can't. What the hell's phone is this? Skull song? I mean, it's Korean. I don't know. Is it Korean? Add new contact. Yeah. Incoming call. Hello. Hello? <gasps> Devoted to the loving memories of years past, which we so fondly cherish. Do we? Angel Wing. I'm mean, sorry, this is 2021. I didn't, I didn't cherish last year. <laughs> I am being serious right now. This oh, is serious. Oh, sorry. Super serious. <laughs> Hello, achievement. Nice to meet you, douchebag. <laughs> sorry. I hope you will take this seriously. Now, who are you? Oh, uh, my goodness. A hermit. Those who value the gift of introspection. Uh, whatever that was. The elephant. Those who seek the comfort the of hierophant. tradition. And the world. All right. Let's be the hermit. Hey. I'm an introvert. All right, douchebaggin. Welcome to your story. Story of... Hey, achievement. The <laughs> story of douchebaggin, the hermit. Hell yeah. The hermit. Wow, that's kind of a nice, spacious, very sparse room. Oh, it's not yours. I got this it. This isn't my room. Where am I? Why I've woken. You... I have woken in a place that's nothing like what I have, what I know. This is no small affordable housing apartment. This is a fully furnished modern home. Whoa. But I, how? Complete with exposed concrete walls matched with various wow. touches of polished marble. I find myself in a medical. Com <laughs> English is not my strong suit, <laughs> and no doubt expensive, owed to this decade's design fads. Moving further along the corridor, abstract paintings of small shrub-like plants adore what would otherwise be an entirely barren sea of white and gray hues. Who cares? It's pretty well decorated. The owner seems to have taste. Let me guess, you're the owner now? But this doesn't even matter. I feel like it could be someone's home. This feels more like a com <laughs> computer rendering of a mobile mo model home. I know how to read. Affordable to only the fabulously wealthy. Oh my gosh, breaking the fourth wall here. Or those living far beyond their means. I'm a hermit. I'm Douchebaggins, the hermit. What am I doing here? <laughs> oh shit, my vibrator. My hands re relective re dude, Fuck. I pull out my what appears to be the same model phone that I picked up earlier. Oh, nice. Kay. Her name is Kay. Hi, douchebaggins. Be at Moon Academy at 9 a.m. You can look up the address. Okay. Who is this? How do they know my name? What is Moon Academy? Mood? Mood Academy? Moon Academy. Oh. My thoughts are racing at an indescribable pace. Questions fill my mind faster than I can process. Process? Should I call yeah. this number to figure out what's going on? No. I don't think I'll be able to calm myself enough to speak coherently. Part of me Why? is... I don't know. I think it's all the drugs I took. Oh, definitely the drugs. I remember I all that LSD you popped with. 
Yes, yes. this is why I see a model home in my eye holes. Part of me is also more afraid of finding out who's going to pick up. Oh no. Can I message them? What? I wanted to type something. Who is this? What is Moon Academy? Wow, I hit the button. You'll be attending school there from there on. You'll be attending school there from now on. Good luck and don't be late. Fuck you. Who are you and what am I doing here? <laughs> I'm a little busy, so you can fuck off. Oh, you can call me Kai, though. Oh, I and uh, find your route on Wi-Fi. I didn't pay for a data plan. Sorry. Wow, what a bitch. What exactly have I got myself into? And you couldn't even get me the cheapest data plan? Wow, what a whore. Whore! I mean, she got you a phone. Well, nice car. I hesitated to follow the instructions given to me. However, I figure exploration can't hurt me. The phone's GPS is really crap. A cathedral turns school at the end of town. Man, I love walking. <laughs> it's so good. Briskly making my way towards my destination, I notice the unusual cleanliness of the city around me. This doesn't look like home at all. New York is worse than this. New York is so much worse. There's literally it's homeless really people in every corner you take. The home, the house I come from is only an example of the simple minimalistic aesthetic employed in this urban sprawl. There are trees all along the sidewalks, and none of the buildings appear to be more than a few years old. That's a nice car. I just said <laughs> what that. Did he do? <laughs> really nice car. Okay, douchebaggin, stop getting sidetracked. It doesn't feel like present day, more like a few years in the future. More like a computer render of what's reality oh, could be. Shit. Wow. Bring the fourth wall. How long have I been out yes. for? Am I in a simulation? The Matrix? You are the simulation. Wah, I am. Wah. I am the Matrix simulation. Oh, you're the one? I quickly check my reflection in one of the windows of the nearby building. There are no sinister men in suits pursuing me. Maybe there should be. <laughs> and all my facial features seem to be where I last left them. What does that even mean? This is good news. Well, I o could always wish for an improvement. Like a bigger dick size. Lol. My phone says it's March 6th. Three days have passed since I picked up the phone in the snow. What? I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> what is even happening? I was There's out. Like no preface for any of this. I was out for three whole days. The city doesn't feel densely populated. In fact, it barely feels alive here. A handful of pedestrians loiter about the concrete walkways, seeming to be in no particular hurry to get anywhere. Get a job. I finally arrived at my destination. A towering, well-worn cathedral with steep stone steps leading to its entrance. Let's embrace the music of the guy in the background pian pianoing. Pianoing? A variety of trees and bushes lie on either side of the streets. Stairs. Street stairs. Now it sounds like someone's walking in some nasty ass water next to me. While the archetype, ar ar architecture is impressive, its common appearance makes me feel a bit at ease. This may be the only thing in the world I can say feels familiar to me. However, I'll have some of my questions answered here. Nice picture. The interior of the cathedral, like school building, is a bit more mundane on the inside. Hallways narrow, lined with decaying lockers that no student has likely ever used. Wow. <laughs> Worn tile paves the way to the art studios. A sign directly new students to the right. Directing new students to the right. Yes, go that way. The musty scent of paper and paint grows stronger as I make my way towards the classroom. The dork. The dork? Yeah, the dork creaks The loud. dork. The dork cle cleeks. <laughs> the door 
creaks loudly as I enter the room. Oh my god, get some WD-40. Desks are sparsely scattered about, with unfinished paintings draped on the tables and canvases of varying quality hang from the wall. Vivid paint stains of all colors decorate the walls and floor. Oh god! The professor, an old piece of shit, I mean an old elderly bespectacled man, notes my arrival here. Oh yes, you must be our new student. Please take a seat. He motions me to one of the empty chairs near the corner exit of the room. Carefully checking the chair for wet paint spots beforehand. I take a seat and attempt to take in my surroundings. The other students are individual bastions of eccentricity. Right? No? Whatever. Eccentricity. Insecticide. Brightly yes. dyed hot hair, spiked and studded leather, ironic <laughs> graphic t shirts. It's everything I expected a college art class would be. Everyone's just gonna draw nude photos. To my right, a red headed girl, she's pretty hot, is working meticulously on a pencil sketch. Her well-maintained wine red hair draped over the page like a gleaming who, red blank. Who writes like this? I can't tell what she's drawing, because I might be blind. But it's clearly <laughs> very important to her. Hey, well class, let's get started, shall we? Stay a while and listen. Despite my joining in the middle of this semester, I have a feeling I haven't missed much. I was about to say lunch. Students are casually sketching, checking their phones, and giggling like a bunch of schoolgirls to each other while the professor, professor rambles on about the errors of art history and their respective famous figures. Hee <laughs> hee. My eyes continue to wander, eventually settling on the red-headed girl again. Hubba hubba booba. He appears to be the only one listening intently to the professor's musings. Hubba da hubba da. Every eyeliner and mascara draw attention to her eyes, giving her a shape and mature look paired with her angular features, combined with her laser-like focus. She appears to be quite serious about this whole art business. This is a lot of adjectives for someone about a girl. No kidding. The gentle. See, who, if, who thinks, no one thinks like this. I am sorry to say, <laughs> no one thinks like this. Like, who... The gentle Nobody. carrots of the sun shining through the windows, as well as the monotony of the lecture, are making me quite sleepy. I can feel myself fading away. Teacher, can I go to the bathroom? A voice calls from the back of the room. I turn to see a girl with raven dark hair and intimidating green eyes standing with her hand raised. Wow. Again? Well, alright, I suppose. Thanks! She wears ripped denim shorts, white canvas shoes, Black hair gleaming like polished obsidian. Why? Why? Why the. <sighs> and whatever that was. No word, one describes people like this. Her snow like... white skin. Her baggy sweater matches her pale green eyes, bouncing with every movement as she turns towards the door. This is not anything that comes through my mind when people go through a door. <laughs> All I think is Boomba! Hubba, hubba. <laughs> she's, she's quite beautiful in a dark and artsy type of way. Well, we are in art class, you dumbass. Now, where was I? Ah, oh, sometimes I forget. Alzheimer. More like old timer. Got that dementia. Huh? Where am I? The rest of the class passes without event, and the girl with the green sweater still hasn't returned. He must be busy in the bathroom. Playing with the... <laughs> Never she got mind. stuck in the toilet. She got stuck in the toilet. The bell rings and students are raised, re released, raised, released into the wild. Sorry. What? You're gonna have to edit that burp out. I'm sorry. Eh, maybe. Leave it in there. Students are released into the wild like animals. Still no green sweater girl. I really like that green sweater girl, especially when she was yeah. wearing that sweater. It was green, and It was man. green. 
She even took her bag with her. It was probably green. Seems pretty normal for a girl to do. I returned to What's Your Name's house. My hefty bag of questions and oh, I didn't want to seem like an insane person. Maybe I am. Am I insane? Probably. Asking stranger questions such as, what am I? What city is this? Who are you? <laughs> who is this person who may have kidnapped me? How did you why, get into my why house? Do, why is spaghetti <laughs> orange? Orange. Entering the house, I can hear the sizzling of human flesh, of the stove, and clatter of utensils coming from the kitchen. I walk through the corridor of paintings and shrubbery into the kitchen, which emanates a soft, warm glow. This is not the first thing I get when I come home from my days of school. Usually I'm like, I gotta go poop. And the last remnants of daylight illuminating the leaves of the tree outside. Oh, you're home. I was so enamored with the view that I had forgotten what I came here for. Hubba hubba. I turned to my left and spot a girl chopping vegetables behind the kitchen counter. Her short, silver hair reflects the sunlight and radiates like someone applied a massive Instagram <laughs> filter to the world. What a Am horrible I, is, analogy. Is this LSD? This, this is, this is cocaine. Glowing platinum hair aside, I'm drawn towards her heavily lined eyes. Sure, that's totally where I'm at, looking. Dramatic yeah. and cat-like in appearance, in effect only magnified by the amber glow of her irises. Uh huh, uh huh. Booba! For a moment, <laughs> I'm lost in her surreal presence. Oh, for Pete's sake. I f it feels warm, especially in my groin region. <laughs> it's also literally quite warm in this room, like I'm sweating again. This is seriously becoming a problem. Hello? Oh, right, reality. Uh, okay, I assume. My gaze wanders to her hands, which are covered in band aids. She must have cut her fingers a lot while chopping those vegetables earlier. She quickly puts her hands behind her back and laughs nervously. <laughs> You're smarter than you look, Mr. Douchebag. How was it that hard to come to that conclusion? Her voice is sweet and feminine, giving the impression of wisdom beyond her ears. Ears or years? Her ears? Wow, her ears. Ah. Wow. Also, what is that supposed to mean? Do I look dumb? I probably do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So what am I? Uh, so why am I here? What's going on? Also, are you saying I look dumb? Ah, oh, yes. Of course, there are questions. I picked you up from the hospital after you passed out in the snow. We literally you live. You were some... in a hospital. We we Shouldn't live in like an area. Drop him off at the hospital. Oh, sorry. We live at some place that probably doesn't even snow. You've been lying in bed for a few days now. Passed out in the snow. The last thing I remember is picking up the phone on the ground. That can't be right. Is it? Well, you can believe what you want. What reason do I have not to just go home right now? Why am I suddenly talking like an Aussie? You can do whatever you want, but you might not find much of a home to go back to. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's a pile of rubble and ass, ash, ash now. Might find it hard to build equality there. Equity. It, it, uh, uh, stroke. Equity? Why? Now you're just messing with me. Look it up. You have a phone end, don't you? Oh, right. Weefy. I reluctantly type my address into the search bar. To my horror, she's telling the truth. The entire complex burned down the same day, March 3rd. That was like a while ago. That was like three days ago. Whoa, what the? Now it's day one. I wouldn't lie to you, <laughs> would I? I just met you seconds ago. I don't know anything about what you would or wouldn't do. Hey, I know this is a lot to take in. I'm sorry that this happened. Yeah, why did she take you in? You still haven't answered my question. How did three days pass, even though it's day one? And now I'm here. Where even is this? Elvis City? What the hell is that? New Elvis City, a couple thousand miles south of where you used to be. What the fuck? Why am I over here? As for why you're here of all places, your uncle was a family friend of ours. Mm -mm. As a favor, I agreed to talk you. Talk you? Take you in for the time being. 
still reeling in shock from realizing my old life has been burned to crisp. Kay waits, waits, wastes no time in continuing her story. Blah, 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 blah. And so, wait. I need to collect myself. My head is spinning. The world feels like it's tumbling down on me. Oh my goodness. Deep breaths. <gasps> Are you alright? No. Yeah. You remember your uncle, right? The one who died, passed away, sorry? Who died, passed away, sorry? Passed away, sorry. I know there's a comma, but... And you've been living off his inheritance for the past couple years. That's correct, right? My heart sinks. There's nobody else in the world that would know about the others. About that other than my family. Y yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, I know about your situation, douchebaggin. <laughs> That's me, huh? No job, no relationships. I could probably count the number of your friends on one hand. Wow. So I have at least five, maybe. Or less. Yeah. This could be the fresh start you need, you know? I didn't come here to be lectured. You're not my mom. <laughs> ha, got her. You're not my mom. When's the last time you spoke to your real mother? I... Oh, no. Years. Kai seems to recognize the combination of shock, despair, and confusion that I'm feeling. Her expression softens to that of sympathy. Eh, listen, I don't want to be rude. Well, you're a bitch. She walks around the counter <laughs> towards me. I'm not here to lay pity on you. I'm letting you stay here until you get things figured out as a favor to the family. What am I, a part of the mafia? They also said I had to. <gasps> Oh, they're part of the mafia. And I'm a little short on the mortgages. What do I have to do? Speaking of which, how was work? Wait, where are you going? I wandered off. Wandered for what felt like hours. Aimlessly stumbling in the cool comfort of the night. The midnight sky interrupted by only the bright white lights of the street lamps. Despite the size of the city, it's eerily quiet. It feels surreal. Like a dream has taken me Go. I walked until the scattered trail of lights led me to what appeared to be an impenetrable fortress of concrete. A shopping mall? No, the end of the video. What is this? <laughs> this is... Uh, mm, I don't know. She's this kinda... sounds like a good time to be a like... Bye bye the unlocked door leads to a hallway of pure white marble from floor to ceiling with high-end department stores littering Gosh, I can't take all of this side. description. Like, we literally have visual. What is the purpose? This is the purpose right here. Oops, I just skipped it. The white halls meant to accommodate bustling crowds. The expensive stores windows meant to display all wares to prospective buyers. Nothing here is being used for its intended purpose. A shopping mall assumes an entirely different form when Who laid bare, is? light only by the moonlight from the glass ceiling. In my mind, I can almost hear the sound of an ordinary day. Constant conversation, music from the speakers, children screaming and their respective parents wrangle them. I'm suddenly realizing this game is boring. It's I'm so bored right now. Thanks for watching. Bye.